So when it comes to ending a long running show that I've done for such a long period of time that has such a special place in my heart, a certain part of me obviously gets sad, gets a little down because I know it's going to be ending. But I've been told many times before to be happy that I experienced it and that it was here at the first place and not sad that it's leaving. I know I'm sad this is leaving, but just the vibes and watching these last 10 episodes is going to be insane and I am ready for it. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episodes 161 and 162. The first one is called Xenon or Zenin. I'm horrible with pronunciations in Black Clover. Zenin's power. Now, we know he had, with a couple of his very strong, like I think stage one underlings, attacked the Golden Dawn headquarters and were smacking, were handing out L's left, right, and cell. <laughs> left, right, and center. Alec Dora tried to help William, couldn't do anything. So now we have William pissed off, we have Yuno coming in pissed off, Captain and Vice Captain. If you guys heard that, that was a Twitch follow, I need to turn off the alerts. But speak of the devil, if you guys, I'm sure you guys can see. Um, if you guys want to watch these reactions with me live and uncut with the immaculate vibes, come over to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Darius. You can also check out the full length and early access over on Patreon. All the links for that are going to be in the Discord down, or the description down below. Make sure to follow my other social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop right on into this. Black Clover, episodes 161 and 162. The first one is called Xenon's Power. Let's do this. And so I love how we're going to cut from this. Yep, exactly to seeing all, oh, brutally beaten. Are they actually dead? No hesitation. The spirit magic. And with how strong his... This guy can still block it? Stone that's way harder than iron or steel. He's evading while helping his inter teammates. Okay, so he's like, no, okay, okay. See, I didn't realize Yuno was stage zero. I thought, God, Roy. I thought maybe Yuno was stage one, but he definitely deserves stage zero. It makes sense. He's got the goddamn vice captain. That's like a Kur Kurapika question. What do you feel when you do these horrible things? And that's like an Ubo answer. And now... We need to have that outcome happen. I am a fan of stone magic, though. I've always liked it. Ooh, I love the wind sword. And it's so long right now, too. I love that reflection. Spirit of Zephyr. This guy's defense and offense are super strong. I still can't get over that. I don't know. Just the fact I still can't get over that. Oh, okay, you know. Was not expecting that. Okay. Okay, big slicer. Oh my god, that was Hammond. That man is down for the count. Oh yeah, that's insanely creepy. What is he, fog, mist, mist magic? Fog magic? Yeah, I don't, trust me, I love my man Klaus. I just don't know if he's gonna be able to take this. Oh, I love her compass and redirect. I love that. Yeah, how are we gonna deal with this guy? He seems pretty damn OP. And it seems like Klaus is at a disadvantage because his he's such a physical magic, you know? His steel? Oh, 
Well, after cutting through the stone, dude, he's coming over to help his homies. I appreciate that. And now let's team up. Yep, the wind's a natural enemy. See, I love the magical disadvantages. I'm always talking about that, you know? Oh, ceiling spectral hands. Okay, Klaus, while he's distracted or someone, let's do some team ups, please. Oh. I like it. She can't keep it much bigger, but she can move herself with it. Rip away the illusionary mist. Now it's just him. And now that it's his physical body, let's deal with him, please. And here comes Klaus for the physicalness. This is exactly the teamwork that I like to see. It's exactly the Golden Dawn. Was he making, like, steel fists? What was he just making? Okay, man! Trying to get, like, Asta? He has, like, a physical <laughs> steel drill. I love it. That went through him. That was an impale. Oh, bone, yep. Well, the, I was gonna say let's go to the fight, but the fight came to us. Oh, William better be okay. Oh my god, it's like a spider web of bones. This guy's literally Kimimaru. <laughs> Is he actually remembering some of those repressed memories of seeing him? Because he was the one chasing after him. Look at that grimoire. Assimilated real quick. Ooh, trying to combine our magics, do some sort of defense. I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting some more teamwork. Us. I need Mimosa here right now to start doing some healing. Oh, that transition was sweet. I need to make sure Klaus is okay. This is 55? I love his bone sword. Oh, he has like a bone horns and devil horns. Even Yuno's getting but What the hell is going on this episode? If Yuno and William can't take care of these guys, who can take care of these guys? I don't know what Ralph can do. I appreciate you coming to check, but uh, I, oh. I mean, I mean, there's just no way. I mean, I'm. She's actually like disapparating. Like, is you know actually dead? Why? I was way too hyped going into this episode to see you know kick ass. What? World tree. Please, some world tree. Something. Have some like Julius type spell where he can do something crazy. This is some world tree. This is some world tree amazingness, but what? Oh my god, I was so... I literally thought... I was like, as soon as I saw Belle disappearing, I was like, is this serious? This is like some Attack on Titan shit. And her wings are still, like, started to dematerialize. Like, they're still kind of gone. We just got handed our biggest L that we've ever been handed. So we need to turn this around and get stronger. 
So was he kidnapped? And I mean, they didn't really like kill him. Like he, like he was stabbing the fuck out of everyone else. So I mean, Shirin dead. And Hammond. Are we taking? Wow. I kind of got goosebumps right now. I was not expecting us to take L's like that at all. Like, they were side characters for sure, but Hammond and Shirin were established magic knights. Established, established. I actually am kind of butthurt I'm not going to see Glass or Shirin stone magic anymore. Like, they were, like, I might have not... They weren't my favorite characters, but they were dope. I'm actually kind of butthurt. This is... That was the first episode that... Damn. That kind of set a tone. I was going into this way more hype than I should have been, I guess. Okay. All right, getting into episode 162. This one's called The Great War That Breaks Out. I'm I'm still a little flabbergasted from last episode. I'll be I'll be straight I'll be frank with you. Oh, back in the spade kingdom. I love how they do that all the time in the show. When it comes to devils, they show them in the actual shadows, like not a physical entity, you know? Where are you going? Ooh. Are we getting a Dante versus Yami? Meanwhile, Banica is invading the Heart Kingdom? Talk about a transition. The Great War is going to break out. I could see why this <laughs> title is <laughs> like what? Luck is always ready to go, which you guys better be ready to go because you really never know when it'll kick off, you know? You truthfully never know. Where is Asta? You went back to the Black Bulls hideout, okay? Okay. Charmy is something else. I know I know some friends in real life who are like Charmy. Literally. That's the first time I've ever Yep, they felt it. Especially with immediately with the scouting. Yep. With they have the whole bubble around you. Oh, that's why I said any moment now. Oh. So they're the dark disciples with Vanica. Damn. Oh, we're helping. So, okay, that's why we were talking about Vanica earlier, because she specifically hosts Megacula. So I wonder the names of the other devils by Zenin and Dante. Mm-hmm. Is that so? So if Dante and other people were happened to be coming from an area around that part, we might run into them first? Is that what you're telling me, narrator? Yes, it should be. So, Finral's leaving. Gordon's still studying. I hope he comes back stronger than ever. I would agree. I would never go back towards that house either. I mean, his dad is super cool. Like, I fuck with Gordon's dad. It's just their house is... Like, look at that. Hell no. Why did Gray scream like that? Any reason? No? Hello? Okay, so Zora and him are gone. Oh, that's Dante's cape. Oh, Henry feels it. Oh. That'll do it. Oh, I hope this is not another Golden Dawn scenario. If you kill any Black Bulls members, Dante, I'm personally jumping in this show and beating your ass myself. Mighty Morphin time. Getting our Zord. Recombination Ragic. The Raging Black Bull. Oh, 
Gravity magic? Oh. Now, normally I would be like, that's strong, but after watching Bungo Stray Dogs, I truthfully know how strong that is. Like, my man is Chuya out here. Oh my god. Yep. Rouge. <laughs> Ooh. What is Dante gonna think of Asta's devil? I want a devil v devil off. I want our devil to have a conversation with their devil while Asta's having a conversation with him. Presence of the Demon King. That is such a cool name. It's anti magic. Your magic's not gonna work against it. He's like, okay, Rouge is kind of being bothersome, so I'm going to deal with her right now. Whoa, you take Vanessa? We're beefing, Dante. You're not taking my wife. No, 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 sir. No, 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 you don't. I love when our sword gets fucking massive like that. Ooh. My man Asa's going in. I like that thinking, Ghosh. Even though I know you're not going to be able to do that personally, I like that thinking. Create the double clones of us. I love that combo. Which one's the real one, bitch? He's not gonna block or dodge him, though. He's just gonna use his magic, yeah. Oh, he took his devil form, too. How broken can this guy get? How that was only half. That was only 50. Oh my god, look at his form. His form is sick. Bro, how OP is I mean he is our final boss, so I get it. But this man is so OP. I don't I I don't even know if Yami could take him. And Yami is OP. Yeah. He can use a he can push you in every which direction. It doesn't keep you literally stationary. It's fucking crazy. Evil God's pressure craft. That's the hardest stone sword you can think of. He condensed it down that much. Yami. No. This is not gonna be like the Golden Dawn. There's just no way. Can we stop stabbing characters I like, please? My man went nine tail fox. Yeah, make some cotton or something that goes. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. Lucifero? Lucifero? And he has conversations with his? Nope. It's not Zagrid. Oh. <laughs> Something about that makes me doubt that, but... I cannot believe he has conversations with his devil. My man is a black ball of uncontrollable dark matter. Like, what? 
I was hyped. I saw Nero who can seal wounds isn't here. I was hyped until I saw that, man. Come on. I feel bad, but like... Oh, this is horrible. I don't know. This, this is so bad. This is so horrible. That black... Oh my god. Oh my god. Asta is on your ass. I love the way they animated that, how slow that was. Okay, okay, this shit's getting juicy. I don't even know what to say after those two episodes. That was actually some S tier black clover. I was, I was, that was some shit right there. I was way too excited going into the Golden Dawn episode 161 for you know to pop off rightfully so and i was excited but then for xenon zenon to absolutely humble everyone there i do think william is alive and okay i do think he was kidnapped but we actually lost shirin we lost hammond and had william not done that super long range whatever magic he did by the holy grace miracle that is world tree magic so because you like people were on the verge of death they said they, so, Shouts out William. Shouts out Yuno for going ham. Shouts out Belle. She was with him till the end. She was literally about to... Elite. Oh, that's so crazy to think about. Klaus as well, fighting till the end. I don't know. Oh, we need... See, that's the thing. If this happened before our training arc, I'd be like, okay, this is going to be the thing that really is like opens our eyes, says, okay, we need to go train and get stronger. This is post-training arc. So I'm like, what? And they're still handing us L's. I don't even know, man. Goat. Damn, bro. Ghosh, I hope is okay. I feel for Gray. Literally, we would all probably be dead right now if it wasn't for Vanessa and Rouge. But it's like, Yami's not here. Finral's not here. Nero's not here. Magna, Zoro, Zora, fucking uh, Luck, Noel. This, this is so not fair. This is like they're literally jumping us at our houses. What are we gonna do? This is oh, it is oh wow, it's Jing's voice actor for Zen? oh my god, this is crazy. Absolutely S tier episodes though, absolute boppers. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget if you guys want early access, full length, check out that Patreon. Four episodes ahead, full length, great time. If you guys also want to watch these full length live with me, you can check out the Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Don't forget to follow the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Don't forget to drink some water, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.